Hello folks, it's the Siggy. Uh, welcome to my latest video. What I'm looking at is a, a brief rundown on update 19. Um, this is pretty much based on the change logs that Gameloft provide for us. There's a couple of observations in there as well, um, but the biggest update that's going to hit is going to be update 20, uh, which is due out fairly shortly. And that promises some exciting things. Okay, um, change logs on here. Update 19, you've now got um, areas where you can expand to the right hand side of Prometheus. Um, they start at 20 million or 246 gold stars. Um, there's a total of six areas now that you can unlock around here, but if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Uh, they become available after reaching level 18. The daily reward system now, um, you keep your progress even if you miss a day. Um, you get a mystery box that gives you some random consumable or a permanent item. And once you've reached uh, whatever milestone, for this one is day 14, um, you get the special report, uh, special reward. After 90 days of playing, we're assured uh, you get a large amount of gold stars. There is a new feature over here on the dam. Uh, basically, you can now have the option to repair the dam for 150 gold stars. It does give 818 glory. Um, well, I've got 20,000 glory. You know, 800 glory isn't going to improve things that much. And the fact that there's no other option to pay for it other than spending your hard-earned cash, if you like, um, I don't see the advantage of it yet. Um, you can boost the dam to get more energy out of it but I I, I I am left undecided for me it's not for me and I won't be using it as yet okay one of the new uh, units um, and power-up produ uh, productions are it's supposed to be a seamless jump once you've um, you know done one uh, item so for example I'll do this vulture and it's supposed to take me to the next one the trouble is the next one it it drags you all over the place do a nagger on there this one's okay because we haven't gone far and then we're swapping over to here it does seem that we're jumping about a little bit it does seem to me that I'm clicking more for it. But there we go. Um, what else is new? Um, you can place offensive and defensive structures on your base from the shop as long as you've got enough energy. The downside of replacing those or putting all them um, boosters up is if you do it too early you'll get the warning that you've in, you've got the maximum number of structures and you need to level up. What we've also got is on the chat, um, if you click on somebody's name now, you get the dog tag coming up as well. So it's easier to identify for whether it be spam, whether it's trying to get in touch with somebody. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a big plus as far as I'm concerned. And last but by no means least, um, there has been some frames per second uh, improvements. The performance has been slightly optimised and on Windows it says that you can choose um, the graphics option, options between low, mid and high. I don't know where, I'm going to have a look now. Uh, options. Ah, graphics, there we go. Please restart the game. Uh, I don't want to 
restart the game. Okay. Okay, so that's where you can do that. And that's if you've got a Windows type um, uh, on Windows only, sorry. Okay, but that's it for now. Please don't forget to subscribe to me. I have been promised some exclusive information about update 20 as and when Ludovic gets that sorted. But for now, take care. See you later.